Welcome to this podcast which is a brief introduction to family law for this semester. I'm Donna Cooper, one of the lecturers in this unit and I'll be taking you through this session. During this session we will we'll look at the lecturers in the unit this semester, what areas you'll be studying. We'll also look at what you'll be able to perform at the end of the semester uh, in regard to real world activities that a family lawyer would perform, the materials you need to have access to, how to approach your study in family law and the assessment. Now there are three lecturers taking different modules. I'm taking the initial modules and I'm also the unit coordinator. That means that if you have a question about the unit that you contact me. For example, a general question about uh, assessment. If you have a content specific question that is in relation to a specific topic area or information that was provided in a lecture or a workshop, please contact the relevant lecturer. I've provided you with some links there and also on the following page so that you can uh, read a little bit of information about each of the lecturers. Now I work Monday to Thursdays. My best contact is my email address. If during the course of semester you need help, uh, please contact me and I will have consultation times up on Blackboard but if you need to make uh, another time just email me and we can make a time that suits both of us either for you to come in and see me or to talk on the telephone. Now the aim of family law is to provide you with an understanding of the family law system, the different options for the resolution of family law disputes, the relevant law and then also how it is applied in practice. So we're aiming to uh, provide you with an understanding of the key areas of law and also to have the ability to perform uh, say for example if you go into a firm and you're working in the family law area the ability to perform some of the tasks that a family law lawyer would undertake for example uh, an initial letter of advice to a client. So in relation to the learning outcomes and this means by the end of the semester you should um, have an understanding and be able to perform these tasks. Uh, firstly, provide a family law client with basic legal advice in divorce, parenting, financial and domestic violence matters. You'll also be able to write a letter of advice to a client after taking instructions in an initial client interview. You'll be able to give advice about the most appropriate dispute resolution options for their case. You'll be able to use some of the key social science research to assist your clients when they're negotiating to enter into child-focused parenting arrangements for their children. And that's taking into account the age of children and their developmental needs. Also we'll highlight some of the key ethical priorities for family lawyers. Uh, particularly the duty to promote the best interests of children. Now the content of the unit covers some of the main areas of family law that you will encounter in practice. For example, a lot of what family lawyers do is concerned with negotiating arrangements about children and also about financial matters. Uh, negotiating settlements of property and also child support. So we will be focusing on those main areas. Also dispute resolution. There is a focus in the Australian family law system on trying to assist people come to their own agreements and not going to court and it's really become a very important part of a family lawyer's day-to-day -day work to assist clients for example with negotiations or uh, even taking a step back from that 
referring them to other services where they can get some help to work out their own agreements. For example, a mediator, either a community mediation service or a private mediator. In some families, there are issues of family violence and, child, and or child protection. So it's important for you to have an understanding of those issues and also how they can impact, uh, for example, on negotiating arrangements for children. Now the materials you need to study are the textbooks, access to the Blackboard site and access to the library. There are two prescribed texts. There is the Family Law Principles text which has recently been published and the case book which was published earlier this year. The most essential prescribed text is the Family Law Principles text. It has been significantly expanded and updated from the first edition so I would advise you to um, have the second edition and not use the first. The case book I guess has some readings um, but is primarily a resource to use to access extracts of the cases. If you can't afford both books buy the Family Law Principles book and access the cases uh, online. However, there are also some readings from the case book. <coughs> now the main uh, piece of legislation we'll be looking at is the Family Law Act. That was introduced in 1975 and there are some other um, pieces of legislation that are also relevant and I've put up some examples there. Now week to week your study in this unit will depend on the lecturer taking that particular module but uh, for most of the modules there will be uh, content delivered online in a podcast, a PowerPoint that goes with the podcast there will also be prescribed readings and possibly optional readings. There also may be a DVD and there may be a quiz. The DVD might be able to give you um, an understanding of some of the concepts that week. For example in the dispute resolution week uh, I'll be posting a DVD of a family mediation to give you a better understanding of what the mediation process is. Also week to week there may be a quiz. If there is a quiz that's an opportunity for you to be able to test your understanding of the concepts that you have learnt that week. Now as we said most of the uh, content will be delivered online. However, we'll also have seven in-person workshops to help you with understanding how to apply the law to practical situations. So I have the weeks there when workshops uh, will be held. It's weeks 4 to 10 and then week 12. These workshops will take place on Gardens Point campus uh, Tuesdays from 4 to 6 p.m. in C405. We hope to see as many people as possible at those workshops. However, if you're not able to attend or you're an external student, they will all be audio taped. Because of the workshops and uh, all of that um, opportunity to learn how to apply the law, we won't be a ha holding an external school in this unit. Just be aware in family law that there are a lot of changes to the law. So it's not um, a good idea to use previous students' notes. What you'll find is that they will be, to some extent, out of date. If you cite old law in the assignment or the exam, we will have to deduct marks because uh, it's important that lawyers are up to date with the law and that you're giving your clients the correct advice. There are two pieces of assessment, an assignment and a central exam. The assignment um, is due in week 9 on the 17th of September. Uh, we will be using the Turnitin online marking program 
So your assignment only needs to be uploaded onto Blackboard. You don't have to submit it um, a hard copy via Assignment Minder. There will then be a central exam in the central exam period and have a look at the QUT calendar which sets out when that, that is for second semester. In the assignment you'll be watching a DVD of initial client interview and this will be uh, posted on the Blackboard site. The client will be telling you about their problems. You'll then need to identify the legal issues, research the law, apply the law to the facts and then write a letter of advice. So it's the letter of advice to the client that you then hand in and upload on Blackboard and I will prepare a separate podcast about the assignment uh, and provide you with more details of that early in the semester. The central exam uh, is a two hour exam with half hour perusal. It is open book. There are past examples of exams on the Blackboard site in the CMD which is the Courses and Materials database. Now I've got some information there about most common exam mistakes and have a read of them. I've also got some more information about the exam but I will remind you of all of that uh, closer to the end of semester and I'll prepare a separate podcast on the exam. So that's all for this session. If you have any questions Please uh, email me. My email address was at the front of the PowerPoint and I look forward to meeting as many of you as possible this semester.